So here we are outside of um, kind of the model home row um, here in River Landing. Such a pretty, pretty community here in Wesley Chapel, Florida. It's a brand new Taylor Morrison community. And I'm going to just walk through a few of the models. Um, most of my clients that are moving here from out of state really are, are looking for a one, but they still want, you know, space for guests and things like that. And Taylor Morrison has a lot of really good floor plans that will lend themselves to that. So the first one we're going to look at is called the St. Croix. And it is four bedroom, th four and a half bath, three car garage and 29, 21 square feet. So it's not, you know, it's not huge, it's not small, it's kind of perfect, <laughs> as Goldilocks would say. So let's go on inside. So here is the lovely home from the outside. You've got your three car garage, kind of a two and then one. So the one would be probably for storage or for your golf cart or what have you. And then um, the, Elevation is sort of um, cottage looking to me, uh, very coastal looking, and usually you'll get to choose between three or four elevations. So you get uh, the style that you like and it doesn't look exactly like your neighbor. So going inside, of course this is the model so it's going to have some design features like this fancy wall that would not be included, but it's very easy to do um, after closing, or possibly the builder could do it for you. You've got your tray ceiling up here in the foyer. Um, there's what they call puck lights, so they're like LED lights in the ceiling that are very nice, and you can either leave it that way or you can um, remove them and put in like a chandelier if that's what you prefer. So right off of the front door in this model, this is the St. Croix. And what's nice about this is all the bedrooms have their own ensuite bathroom. So it's very, very versatile floor plan. So this one would be right up near the front of the house, which would make it a really nice um, guest room or office even. And it does have a flex room also, so that could be your office. So, bathroom with a full bath and shower combo. And then an option would be to have that just a shower. I find a lot of my buyers are getting away from the whole bathtub concept these days. Um, but it is nice to ha leave at least one tub in the house, you know, if you have little kids to bathe or of your own or if you'll have some grandchildren visiting or what have you. And this, this is bedroom number two. Nice spacious closets. And its own ensuite bathroom. This also has the shower tub combination. So here is your very, very spacious living area. I mean, this, this is I mean, overwhelming, like how huge this is. You've got your kitchen here. You've got a gas cooktop, which um, is sort of rare here in Wesley Chapel. Um, there's not a lot of communities that offer gas, so that's a bonus. And then up top, you've got a convection oven and then a regular oven on the bottom. And dishwasher. This one has the ceramic uh, big farm sink, which that would be upgrade. And then nice big island. And this one is a quartz island. I believe granite comes standard and then quartz would be an upgrade, but either one would be absolutely beautiful. And the nice um, wood look floors. This is actually a laminate um, 
plank flooring. LVP. And then um, this area is for, you know, like they have a dining table. You could have a smaller kitchen table depending on your needs because the island is big enough that, you know, you put some bar stools up there and that could be your eat-in kitchen. It's up to you how you want to configure it. And then we've got the tray ceiling here. And I like how they painted the interior of the ceiling a different color than the rest of the ceiling. So it really draws attention to that tray feature. And then this is your living area. Then off of the living area is that flex space that we talked about. So in this case, they've got the uh, glassed in doors. You could also have solid doors or you could have pocket doors that just kind of slide into the wall. And they have a tray ceiling in here as well and nice crown molding. I'm pointing out some of the features that I believe, in fact I know, are going to be upgrades. So you can kind of tell what comes with it and what is additional. So I really like what they did with this area because it's kind of like, you know, office space and lounging space. So depending on who's using it at what time of day, it's very versatile. And then now we've got bedroom number three. First we'll peek into bathroom number three. Okay, so this is the half bath. So this is just the toilet and the sink. Look at this wallpaper. It's really pretty. When wallpaper went out of style, I really never thought it would come back because people were so sick of it, but it's really coming back with a vengeance these days, and I like the patterns. It's very, very different. And then right outside of that bathroom, we've got a spacious storage uh, linen closet. If you've seen any of my other videos, I always talk about storage here in Florida because we have none. <laughs> we don't really have, we, we don't have basements. We have attics, but they're not very big or useful in most cases. And so um, I always look for places where, you know, where are you gonna put all your stuff? And in most cases, that's gonna be closets, that's gonna be maybe an extra bedroom. Like if you only need three bedrooms, you might wanna go for four anyways, so you have extra storage. Um, and then it's gonna be your garage. So you learn to use overhead ceiling racks, you learn to get really creative when it comes to storage. So this is the ensuite bathroom for this, um, third get yeah third spare bedroom if you will so three of four and I love this um, this tile this is one of my favorites and then my other sec my other first favorite this would be my second favorite my first favorite is the pebble look flooring that some of my other buyers chose shout out to Lori and Andrew they have excellent taste and they're gonna be moving here very soon. And this is an option too, um, not an expensive option though, to go for that square undermount sink. So very pretty. And then we're gonna come out here through the grand room. And we're gonna take a peek at this Lanai area. Now they've got this decked out with all of the options, including the outdoor kitchen. You could either have Taylor Morrison build that for you, or you could just have it plumbed for that so that you can uh, build it on your own after closing. And then um, the pool is also an option that you can get through them, or uh, my recommendation actually would be to do it on your own after closing, um, but it just all depends because sometimes it's nice to roll everything together into one loan, um, but you're, you're gonna be getting a builder markup on that pool, so, and you're gonna be 
you know, kind of limited in your pool choices. Whereas if you do it on your own after closing, you know, the sky's the limit for both creativity and budget. And then here, it's just off of the main room, but it's got its own little hallway. And then you walk into the master bedroom. So you're not, you know, people aren't looking directly into your bedroom from that um, family room. And this has three windows overlooking the pool area. An option here would be to make it sliders instead. Make it like triple sliders leading out to your pool. Obviously it's spacious enough for a king size bed and two nightstands and a dresser. So very nice large area here. The lights just went out on us, I'm not sure why. I'm not moving enough for it to know that <laughs> I'm in here. Okay, that's strange. Anyway, we will carry on. So here you've got your dual sinks or dual vanities. Lots and lots of cabinet space here. So that's a good sign. And then you've got your little cubby here for the toilet area and I apologize for the lack of light all of a sudden maybe there was a um, little power surge but we are in the dark here here's the master closet nice big walk-in closet the same flooring now the standard would be carpet in all the bedrooms and then having this um, other flooring is optional and then look at this major party shower <laughs> this is huge <laughs> so very very pretty i like how the tile um, in the shower matches the tile on the floor but it's laid in a different pattern and you just have one solid piece of glass to just squeegee off when you finish. And you've got three shower heads in there with controls on either side of it. So I believe this gigantic shower is gonna be also an upgrade. And then uh, in the master bedroom, you've got your tray ceiling, lots of those um, LED puck lights and crown molding inside the tray. Those are all upgrades, but highly, I mean, highly recommended from a design standpoint, in my opinion. So that's it. That's the St. Croix. Again, we're looking at 2,921 square feet four bedrooms, four and a half baths, three car garage, plus a flex room. And this model starts at $502,900. So if I can send you any more information on um, this home or this builder, this neighborhood, or even just tips and tricks on the ins and outs of buying real estate here in Wesley Chapel uh, in New Tampa, I'm happy to do so. My name is Michelle Curtin with Cartwright Realty. ShellSellsFloridaHomes.com, 813-693-2224. Have a fantastic day. And don't forget to grab my free resources below. I've got a home buyer's uh, guide to send you, a home seller's guide, as well as a guide to new construction. So be sure to grab your free copies of each.